Om Shanti, welcome, and we are here with the 19th of June Godly Blessing, where Supreme Father wants us to become an embodiment of success by receiving good fruit from the seeds of good thoughts. How do we do that? How do we become successful? Is what we are going to learn in this blessing. Let's have a look in details. God says, may you become an embodiment of success by receiving good fruit from the seeds of good thoughts. For souls who are embodiments of success, their every thought for themselves and others would be fruitful. They receive success from every act they do. The words they speak become practical and this is why they are called true versions. Every thought, word and action of souls who are embodiments of success will bring them success. They will not be wasteful. That means they are deliberate, they are purposeful. If a seed of thought is very good, but the fruit that emerges from it is not good, then the land of determined dharna is not good or something is lacking in their paying attention to it. That means either we don't have complete willpower which we have used or we have not focused on to that beautiful thought which you have created over a long period of time. That means you have not gone into the depth of it. It was just a superficial thought. It was just something which was thought on the in the instant, in the moment and then forgotten about. That means there was no strength even though it was a good thought. So God wants us to make our thoughts, our words and our actions working together so that we fulfill that thought that word and that action and it comes around and we are successful in achieving the goal which we have thought about. For that a lot of clarity is required, a lot of cleanliness is required, not just that, a connection with the Supreme Being is required and it should not have anything which is selfish within it. It should be something as God said for self and for others. That means I should not just think about that thought when it's going to benefit me. It should benefit many others and especially in the field of service when we are serving others we have to take everybody along with us forward we can't be going alone otherwise it's going to be a very lonely journey so we take everybody along with us we move forward with everybody and that thought which you've created should be dwelt upon in depth should be made powerful with the power of yoga or meditation and then the fruit of that thought will be success and when we are successful that's the time everybody else around us also feel successful and become successful so the thought has to be very deliberate and very powerful how do you make our thoughts very powerful very deliberate is what we learn in Brahma Kumaris with the power of meditation you too can make your thoughts powerful and become successful by achieving those goals in your life with this Om Shanti